Hi golfers, Nick here from American Golf. I'm down at the Thurrock store today, and today I'm testing the top six best low handicapper irons that I have available in the store to try. So this is in 2017, so far, the best six in my opinion. So I'm looking at the major brands. So I'm looking at Cobra, Callaway, Mizuno, Ping, Titleist, and TaylorMade. So I've got a club from each that I put into the low category handicapper. So to start with, I'm going to look at the clubs. I'm going to give them a rating for appearance. Then I'm going to hit some shots. I'm going to rate them on feel and performance. And also I'm going to look at the price because I think that's so important. I've had a lot of comments on these videos and a lot of you guys mentioning the price. I think that's really important. So I'm going to add that in as a category. So you've got four categories, six clubs. I'm going to hit 10 shots of each. So the first category is the appearance. I'm going to do these in alphabetical order, so no particular order. So I'm going to start off with Callaway. So we've got the Callaway Apex Pro, which I think looks really good behind the ball, really nice sort of shape. But in terms of the overall looks of the club, it's, in my opinion, not the best looking iron if you look from behind here. It looks okay, but it, I prefer actually prefer the normal Apex in terms of the finish on the head. So unfortunately, uh, I'm going to give this zero points. Uh, each club is going to be graded from 0 to 5. The best one's going to be 5, so 0 for Callaway. Next up, we've got the Cobra King Forge Tour. Again, looks pretty good behind the ball, but overall looks, I'm only going to give this 1 out of 5 it's for Cobra. So next up, we've got MP5, which I think looks amazing. The whole, whole finish on the hair looks great behind the ball. For me, it's the best looking club out on the market at the moment, so I'm going to give it five points. Next up, we've got the Ping Eye Blade, which d doesn't have the best look behind the ball, but I like the finish, I like the shape on the back, and overall, I think it's quite a good looking club, so I'm going to give this three points out of five. Next up, we've got the Taylor made P770. I've done a review recently on this and I hit it fantastic. It's a good looking club, not quite as good as the Mizuno. Um, and unfortunately, I'm going to give the Taylor made 2 out of 5 for appearance. Finally, we've got the Titleist MB 716 MB Forge, which I think looks amazing. It's a very close call between MP5 and the tight list. But for me, in my personal opinion, the Mizuno just shades it. So I'm going to give the tight list MB 4 out of 5. So next up, we're going to hit some shots. I'm going to hit 10 shots of each. Then I'm going to sit down afterwards, talk to you about the feel, the performance, and the price. of sand that it took you to my view Ooh, like a nerve in the back when I couldn't even lend a hand
Okay, so you see me hit 10 shots of each club there. And this next stage, I'm just gonna grade the clubs on their feel. So I've obviously, obviously given them a grade on their appearance. Now I'm gonna give them a feel, because I think that's really important. When I'm choosing a set of golf clubs, the appearance is important. The feel is really important. I think off the face, sometimes that can make the decision whether you wanna buy a set of clubs or not. The performance is obviously the most important thing, which you're gonna to get to in a second and obviously the price as well, which we'll get to as we go along. But in terms of feel, it was pretty close between MP5 and iBlade. Actually, I was really surprised with iBlade. It felt really good. But MP5, to me, was the best feeling iron out the ones I tested today. Closely followed by iBlade. So five points for MP5, four for iBlade. Next up was Apex Pro. I did say it didn't have the best appearance in my mind, but actually the feel was really, I was really impressed with that. And it's pretty close between that and the tailor-made P770, but Apex Pro, three points out of five, P770, two points out of five. And then the last two, the Cobra and the MB. I was a little bit disappointed in the Titleist MB. For whatever reason, I didn't, it didn't feel great to me. Uh, I do use Titleist clubs, AP2s, which I think are great. They perform great for me, but the MB didn't quite feel that great. It's a great looking club, but it didn't quite feel as good as it looks. So zero points for Titleist, one point for Cobra. So moving on to the performance, I think this is like probably the key category. So for this category, I'm gonna double the points. So the best club will get 10 points. The worst club still get zero. Double zero, still zero. So in terms of performance, the best performing club for me, and I judged this on, I didn't go into too much detail in the numbers. I had a quick look at the numbers, but really in terms of the consistency of the shots, where they finished, the ball flight, landing position and Taylor May P770 by far outperformed all of these clubs in performance for me uh, so that's going to get 10 points the almost every shot was in exactly the same place just right target which I like uh, there's one that I hit slightly out the toe and it just moved out to the right but I was really impressed by the performance of that that was closely followed by MP5 just to bear in mind this was a six iron so I did expect it to go further if you did worry wonder that but it performed great again the spread of the balls are really closely knit so that was second place that gets eight points out of, out of ten next up was in performance the mb so the tightless mb even though it didn't feel great and the um appearance looks good it didn't feel great the actual performance was pretty pretty good i had a quick look at the numbers there was a couple that curved right a couple that curved left but they all roughly landed in a similar sort of area so it probably wouldn't be the one I'd go for, but in terms of performance, the third best performing club out of the ones I tested today, so six points out of 10. Next up was the Apex Pro. It did feel good, but the actual performance wasn't the best compared to the, the other two clubs, other three clubs I mentioned. Uh, the performance in the Forge wasn't, it was a little bit spread out, but it, it, was, it was pretty good to be fair, but it was, wasn't quite as good as the other clubs I mentioned, so four points out of 10 for that one. Uh, next up, we've got the iBlade. I did mention it felt really good, but the actual bunch of golf balls weren't quite as consistent as, say, the MP5 or the P770s uh, for whatever reason, but it did feel really good. So uh, two points out of 10 for that one, and then uh, zero points, unfortunately, to the Cobra. Uh, the performance on that wasn't quietly, wasn't quite as close as some of the others. So. I hit them all pretty good, but some outperformed others. So just one last category to include in this is the price tag. And I think that's really important. I get quite a few comments on these videos talking to me about the price. So I've just had a quick look on a standard set in steel shafts for to pitch wrench, and that can be custom fit as well for American Golf. But the in terms of price, I think it's really important. So I'm gonna grade this again from zero to five, five to be the cheapest set. So the cheapest set, there was actually three sets at 74999. Uh, which was the MP5, the MBs, Titleist MBs, and the King Cobra Forge. So they all get four points out of five. Then next up was the Apex Pro, which was 779.99. So that gets two points out of five. Uh, next up, we got the iBlade 799.99. And then the most expensive, you know, it's the best performing was the tailor-made P770, 1,049 pounds a set. I could definitely consider it if they performed like they did. So there's my categories. So I've covered four categories there for these six clubs. 
aimed at the lower handicapper golfers. I've had to use the clubs that are available to me. So far in 2017, these are the best six clubs that we have here in store. There are some other options out there I do know, which I will try in the future. But at this point in time, this is my opinion as well, obviously. Uh, I've judged them in those four categories and the top performing club, in my opinion, so far in 2017 in the Irons is the Mizuno MP5. Great looking club, feels good, performs good. Definitely considering putting that in my bag. This was closely followed by the TaylorMade P770 and the Titleist MB. I was a little bit disappointed in the performance of the Titleist MB, but overall it's a, it's a great club. Uh, it probably wasn't the best suitable for me, but P770, if it wasn't, didn't have that such high price tag, I think that would have been taking Mizuno pretty close to run for its money. It just probably didn't quite have the looks that I like to see in a low handicapper sort of club. So both of these came tied second overall out of the six clubs. Next up was the Ping Eye Blade. It looks pretty good, but it just overall didn't quite perform as good as the other three clubs I mentioned. And then the last two, um, Apex Pro, in my opinion, was the fifth best club I tried, followed by the King Forged Tour which finished up in last place. So that's my opinion, that's what I think. It's definitely worth trying them out for yourself. So golfers, if you're interested, you come down to any American golf and we'll be happy to help you out.